Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we're looking at a pretty nice, large Republic of Angola, led by Jonas Savimbi, in which right now we are have Oba Commando Africa, but we're basically at war with the other Reichs Commissariat, so we'll do the best we can, and uh, yeah, massive prisoner liberation, sounds kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. Um, actually, can you guys actually win there? These guys do have tanks, if you look at it. Their attrition is really bad. We don't have a lot of supplies, but we need a lot of anti-tank. We're really good on guns, and we need some anti-air, which is, hmm, questionable, I would say. But, alright, let's grab some anti-air. And, I don't know how many planes we're making, but, uh, let's do that, maybe three there. We have quite a few guns, I'll lower it down to two for now. We're making a lot more anti-tank and artillery, because that's super, super important. Freedom for Angola? Oh boy. As the South African War continues to envelop the entire South Southern African continent, a baffling report has come back from the capital of Sudwest Africa. Early in the day, half a dozen of Luftwaffe transport planes took off heading to a destination unknown. Amongst its passengers were Rex Kumasal Wolfgang Schenk, his closest aides, and their families. In an even more shocking turn of events, the Reichskommissar's private doctor, Jonas Savimbi, proceeded to make a speech on Radio Luanda hours after the plane left, declaring himself president of an independent Angola and calling his citizens to take up arms and defend the newborn nation. Thousands of Ovimbundu militiamen, alongside native SS units stationed at the rear, have already pledged allegiance to the new president, with fighting between them and their former shield allies already erupting across Angola. Wait, what? <laughs> I've never seen this actually happen uh, here in, uh, like, whenever my other campaigns. I never see Angola pop up, but whatever. Oh, what is this? Um, the fall of Namib. Oh, is it because of that one, maybe? Nowhere else in the African continent has fallen under the Reich's yoke longer than Namibia, with a sizable community of Germans descended from settlers in the late 19th century. The colony and its yoke had endured British, then South African rule following Germany's defeat in the First World War before returning back to the Reich's fold following its victory in the Second. Despite its less than hospitable windswept savannas and scorching hot deserts, Namibia is a choice colony for many German settlers, seeing the established German presence as a welcome taste of the high they had left behind. As a result, Namibia has become the most Germanized region in Africa following the Wolfgang Schenk's fight. Said Germanization has proven to be a pain in our butts. While the erstwhile Rocks Commissar left the region to the free state of Angola in his final acts. It seems the local population has other plans. The Namibian Germans have taken up arms against their land's tentative Angolan administration, seeing Shanks' actions as nothing short of a betrayal. Led by the ramshackle remnants of Swift West Africa's colonial government, this insurrection has declared a collaborationist government aligned with the Africa Shield in the war not only against the OFM, but against our rule. Those dudes are doomed to fail. So, okay, so we lose Namibia here, which kind of sucks, but, uh... I'm not going to touch that, so Namibia, huh? Alright, well, I'm not going to touch it until we go, can go all the way in as far as we can. So my goal is to push all the way east as far as possible, so... And more Angolans join the fight. As the war rages on, as the soil of the front lines flows with the blood of German and Angolan sons, many tales are told of the acts of valor, bravery, and sacrifice conducted by brave soldiers. Tales of great deeds done by great men, in spite of the deadly nature of the struggle. These tales seem to be inspiring the Angolan people. After decades of subjugation and misery, somebody's fighting for them. There are men putting their lives on the line for the emancipation of the country, whereas before, men would only fight to keep them subdued. A cause more noble no Angolan man has ever known. Even more of our people, inspired by our new cause, have decided that they too wish to become a hero of the people. Our recruiters now find themselves swarmed with prospective freedom fighters, all looking to take up arms against those who have put, the, put their people back into chains. So many volunteer that many veterans are being called back so that may, they may assist in training the new generation of Angolan soldiers. We welcome them to the fray. And right now, oh, we can do equipment stuff. Um, we can scavenge German arm depots for more infantry equipment. We can rally the people to get more war support. We can also repurpose German assets, as well as get a civilian factor too. Improve internal structure, this one seems okay. Whilst we are currently undertaking the fight of a lifetime, we cannot ignore the fact that our upstart state is organized to be a little more than a fighting force of the current. It may be afforded, if it may be afforded, we can spend slightly less attention upon the war effort so that we may work to establish our nation's political and governmental structure. After all, all this struggle would be for none if we lack the ability to govern ourselves once victory is achieved. Which we improved internal structure, which grants slightly some slight political power, but we lose weekly war support, so that's not really good. Strengthen our resolve is better to get some more stability, but we'll see what happens. Um, excellent Sudwest Africana training, which is nice. German resistance, which is really bad, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And things are still getting worse here, so. Port Namib. Huh. What are you guys doing here? Are you just sweating here? Here, just a sweat? Irish Republican army steps down. Um, oh, resistance is... Oh, okay. That's extremely high. 95%. Remember, I gave a lot of this territory to, uh, the, you know, Ost Africa. 
And they are, they've just ruined it, man. All right, so that's the case. I'm going to go and take you four. And you guys go here. Just because, uh, we're going to take you. I don't know how Namibia is going to act and seem like. So we're going to head up there, guys. So, add on up. See what you can do. <clears throat> and now these guys go to Quillamain. Uh, these guys have divisions up here. Mueller, do Mueller does, but it is what it is. The fall of the Namib is not good. Oh, crap. There they go. Oh, God. Um, five to nine divisions. Helmut von Leipzig, huh? Well, if that's the case, then. You know what? Uh, I want to take out Leopoldville. Uh, it might be easier to take him out first. I think I really want to take these guys out, though. There's now worse around, which sucks. I might actually have you guys instead come up here. I'm just going to defend this area up here as best we can. German takes film. Oh, look. German Lola sees Namibia. So much was left untouched and abandoned when the facets of the Nazi administration fled. Administrative offices is emptied. Warehouses locked up and abandoned. Airfields were evacuated. What the fascists couldn't carry, they left to, rust, to dot and rot. rot. With the swift outbreak of the war, the movement could scarcely afford to task people with searching old buildings and presumably empty warehouses. Many stones were left unturned. One stone, however, was recently reported to have been hiding quite a valuable military commodity. A group of adventurous young boys recently took it upon themselves to break into an old, locked-up German warehouse. They discovered not guns nor dusty supplies, but tanks. Parked side by side, the Germans must have crammed as many tanks as they could into the warehouse. Easily enough armored to outfit a battalion, and it didn't take long before our officials heard of the discovery, and drove down to investigate for themselves. As sure as the sun rises, there was a warehouse containing abandoned yet fully outfitted German panzers. Whilst the model store within the warehouse are still outdated, it will doubtlessly prove to be an immense boon to our forces upon the front lines. Should we choose to employ them in the field already, the machines are being transported to the more secure locations, where they will be prepared for the combat use in the near future. Let's help us turn the tides of the battle. We get 10 things of World War II light tanks. Well, that's not very much, but you know, we'll take whatever we can get. Uh, I need you guys to get out here. Get out. Supplies too bad. Stay in there. Uh, these guys, they have a little bit of recon, which is fine. Um, can we actually win on, yeah, maybe, probably, yeah, that'd be pretty, pretty good. We don't have a lot of manpower, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Get out, get out. Lacerda wins the Brazilian elections, alright. The Union of South Africa is actually looking not too bad right now, so. Not too bad. I need you guys to hold. Um, I need you to come over here. Oh my god, okay, yeah, don't, don't come over here, it's really bad. Holy crap. Get out. Get out. Get, go this way. German resistance attacked the camp. Although the Nazis were expelled from our halls of government and seats of power, they remain an ever-lingering threat. <clears throat> from the outside, they relentlessly assailed our free state, seeking to topple Angola by force. Much to our dismay, they operate from within as well. Last night, our forces encamped not far from the current front lines came under attack, but not only from Central African or Ost African forces. The operators opened fire upon the camp as their soldiers slept. Though the night sentries were first to fall as the guerrillas swiftly attempted to commerce their t slaughter. Men rose abruptly from their sleep, roused by the racket of gunfire, before many a time to so much as rise from the cots. A barrage of grenades were tossed into their tents, men in yet untouched tents, emerged from their, with their rifles, many without the time to spend times to so much as put on a single piece of clothing. Amidst explosions and screams, their men turned return, return fire, killing several and sending the rest running off into the night. Whilst the enemy had been routed, over a dozen Angolan soldiers now lay dead with many more wounded. The fallen attackers were mostly wore mostly civilian clothing, with some branching ramshackle uniforms. The only common identifying factor between the attackers was a simple swastika armband. Those still loyal to the Reich appeared to have taken up arms against us, a bastardization of our brothers in West Africa and Central Africa who did do the same to earn the freedom. These terrorists fight in hopes of putting us in chains. A more reprehensible lot we've never seen. The colonizers are still a thorn in our side. Go, guys, go. We gotta win this war now, 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 now. Get the windhook. Oh, we're doing well, we're doing well. Get, get out of here, guys. The supply is so bad over there. Holy crap, it is bad. Oh, there goes Free Indonesia. Goodbye, Free Indonesia. Yeah, CIA really doesn't want to help us out here. I should go right there. That'd probably be good. So, kind of wins the Indonesian Civil War. Very good job, dude. Um, how about you guys? Yes. 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 This hopefully will help out South Africa. I hope that the Americans are still there, but we'll see. All right, keep spending, spending, spending. Nice, go win hook. Keep these guys from here. 
Enemies at our doorstep rivals in our home. As a soldier, we stand brave against those who would strip us of the liberties we have fought so hard to earn. They fight confident that their land and people stand united behind them. They believe wholeheartedly that their leaders have clear plans towards victory. This cannot be farther from the truth. As with every nation, factions form as men disagree over how their nation should be run. Our upstart state is no exception. Despite Angola's young age, its capital government is already fragmented into staunchly opposed blocs. Politician quarreled politician whether into staunchly uh, over Angola's future post-German rule, over the war efforts direction, or every or any other topic in between. These men know that the victor in the political playing field can reap great rewards, and upstart stages and goals are the land of opportunity to such individuals. Disagreements in the government chambers have on several occasions gotten so fierce that physical violence erupts between headstrong officials in session. In session. Less opportunistic individuals look upon these exchanges with despair. How can we combat the colonizers if we are one in other's throats? Our victory could be our undoing. Good. Keep beating him up. Oh, peace conference? No, that's not us. Oh, okay, this is not looking good. Um, you guys actually probably could win here. Just saying. Oh, they left. Dang it. Leopoldville, we want them. Oh, we got them. Look at that. Not bad. Uh, who are we importing stuff from? Ah. Can we trade with anybody? Not really, no. We could try it, I guess, but still. Alright, so that's not bad. We actually won it over there. We don't have those cores, which kind of suck. That's alright. Um, <clears throat> These are our divisions currently. I'm going to actually duplicate you. Uh, keep on in the middle. There you go. Let's see. Did it actually do it? Yes, it did. Can you replace you with actually militarized police? Yes, we can. There you go. That's better. That's much better. Much, 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 much better. Now, I don't want to come over here. Oh, actually, come over here, so fine. Now it's fine since the resistance has kind of reset itself, so. I need you guys to go this way. I need you guys to keep doing what you're doing. Actually. Or a little bit of lag, whatever. You guys go there and go there. You can probably beat the crap out of them over here. <clears throat> or they'll just do that anyways. Okay. How are you losing? Ah, they have two divisions there. Um, yeah, with them, they're abandoning the line. They're really trying to come up here to uh, this part of Africa. Because now this Union of South Africa is doing quite a bit better. They still have a lot of manpower. These guys don't have that much. They have a hundred, less than 100,000. These guys have a good amount. Up to 21 divisions. Um, up to 16. These guys have up to 17. It's obviously not very good, but, you know, so whatever. They don't have any supplies. That's a big thing about them. We have no stability. Uh, do that. This one, it says it costs command power, but the prerequisites are making sure you have, like, 15 command power, but it doesn't take it away from you, so... It is what it is, you know. Oh, crap. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's actually really bad. Don't, don't show up here. What the heck? No. Get out of there. Get out. Good. If we can push through here, that'd be great. Um, you guys are just mostly here just to be a, kind of a stopgap, I suppose. Oh, the German tanks are here. That's really bad. That's incredibly bad. Anything else? More civvies and millies? I don't think we're supposed to actually keep getting this one, but whatever. Where's our capital? Windhoek is still a capital, which is good. Oh my god. Seriously. Okay, so we're not going to fight here then. We're going to raise up the line a little bit more. This kind of sucks. And by kind of sucks, I mean it really sucks. You might be able to win there. I'll just keep going up north, guys. Let's get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This the resistance here is just way too high. It's literally eating up all their supplies, so... Alright. Not bad, not bad. If you get in Circle Dome, that would be glorious, my friends. Is resistance really bad here, too? Oh, it is bad over here, too. Oh, man. I just hope South Africa can, like, keep moving up. How strong are the Boers? 35 divisions, 11,000 manpower, that's not bad. 
That's actually pretty good for us. Secures Breton leadership. That's fine. We should be able to win there, right? Yeah, they should. Um, boom, boom. Cool. Can you guys actually go at all? Maybe not. Maybe. Nice. Um, do you, you stay there. You actually take one of you guys to go, to go here. Alright, uh, you guys go in there. You guys go in there. You should be able to do that pretty easily. And keep spending. Well, now we have a deficit every, every year. Okay, that sucks. Keep going with the land auction, maybe? Oh, uh, sure. More max buying is pretty nice. These guys are almost dead, so. How are you losing? Seriously, they have literally, like, no supplies. I mean, we too, but like, come on, man. But of course, these divisions probably have tanks on them, right? Yeah, they do. Technically, yes, they do. Oh, God, they're spreading through here like cancer. Uh, you know what? Abandon the north for now. I want you guys to defend this area. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No, I don't think you're going to win your son. Uh, we lost some more stuff, which sucks. Are we, wait, are we fighting these guys too? Okay, no, we're not. Uh, wait, oh, we, are we? Oh, wait, why are we fighting these guys? That literally makes no sense. Why would we not peace out with them? I'm not going to fight the Union of South Africa. I refuse to do that. That is BS. Like, I... I don't care what anyone says. That is BS. We should not be fighting the South Africans. <laughs> so you're telling me we should have capitulated them first and then killed off everyone up here. That is dumb. That is stupid. Why would we not try to piece these guys out first? Let's go for Quillamane or something. Because I need y'all to go. I know you're not super strong right now, but y'all gotta go. Um, over here. Ding, 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 dong. Alright. We still need way more of that stuff, which is fine. Well, why? Why? Why would we not peace out with them? That literally makes no sense. Actually, you guys... Oh, uh, you're kind of doing well going up that way. Nice. At least we're getting more stability right now. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep boosting it up. Boosting it up. We lost 20,000. Yeah, that just doesn't make any sense why South Africa would go to war with us. Or stay at war with us, really. We're going to definitely get in there first, but if we can cut off a division. That'd be really good. Nice. Please don't do that. Get out of there. Get No, go this way, you piece of, you piece of crap. I tell you to go the other way, and screw it. Just kill yourselves off then. Alright, so there goes those guys. Uh, you guys go there. Take these guys out. Kill them off, please, please, please. How do we get more manpower? We have, like, no manpower, man. We're not even mobile. Oh, we are mobilizing. Okay, four-year draft. That's good. Strength and resolve. That's good. How are they able to get more divisions? They're almost out of manpower, too. Six to ten divisions. Hopefully they don't start gassing us. Did the Americans pull out? Hold on. Did, did the Americans pull out? No, they did not. Incredibly worrying. So they have not pulled out yet. Oh, what the heck are we doing down here? 
Oh my god. Well, if it goes poorly, I'm going to fix things off, up off screen then. Just because I, it doesn't make any sense. It literally makes no sense. We would peace out immediately with South Africa. I know we would. Why would we not do that? We have no business in South Africa. We're fighting for our own freedom. This makes no sense, man. Alright, after that. Um, are we still working on Artie? Some more engineer stuff. Please get in there fast, faster, fast, faster. Come on. Oh, come on, man. You could have done better than that. You could have done so much better than that. And we got encircled because of stupid stuff. My god, how do they get so much more equipment when they've run out? When they've literally ran out. Why are they fighting us instead of these other guys? It doesn't make any sense. It literally makes no sense. And they keep coming up from the north. I mean, that's so stupid. That is so stupid. Why is it lagging so hard? What the heck? Uh, let's go there, let's go there. Keep getting some more equipment. My god, we're gonna need it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish this off screen just because this is this is extremely stupid. I mean, I, we should not be fighting South Africa. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, basically, it's September 11th, 1967. And I'll be honest here, I'd use console commands. This is impossible to win, which makes sense. I get it, that makes sense. But, like, we literally had to go to war with the entire OFN to win here. Um, Yeah, I, I, I don't understand what what's wrong with this. But, I mean, it's one thing if, if to fight the two Rax Commissariats, we peace out with South Africa, but we didn't. So basically what happened was, the war went on for too long. The OFN went to, literally declared war on the Africa Shield, which means the OFN went to war with us, and we would have lost. Like, I mean, I don't understand what was going on, like, when the devs were making this, but it doesn't make sense why, like, Africans wouldn't rise up if, if Angolese Angolese soldiers would come and liberate places, put them on their ju jurisdiction for now, that they wouldn't get any more manpower or any more strength or anything like that. Yeah, I, I get like, you know, a lot of these places might not be like super modern and stuff, but like, I just don't understand that there's not, I mean, this is going to get reworked eventually, but the way it's set up right now is I would never recommend this at the, t the current time of this recording just because it, it's, you can't do anything. You literally can't do anything fighting the South Africans the, or the entire OFN, the Africa Shield. Um, so I, would not recommend this 100% at the time of this recording just because it's impossible to play. It doesn't make any sense why you'd be war with South Africans, especially if you're fighting for freedom. I'm going to get that, you know, the CIA didn't really want to help us out, but, like, this was stupid. Like, this is, this is just stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid. But that's it for us. And there's, unfortunately, there's no, like, special event. Like, I've literally had to use consequence. I had to annex Canada to, like, actually peace, like, get out of the war with OFN. I could force the, the peace deal with, uh, the US, but not with England or Canada or Australia or New Zealand, so this is still unfinished at the time of this recording. But if you're still watching, thank you very much. But I think I've got to end here because this is this was frustrating. This was incredibly frustrating and just not fun. Just not fun. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.